Hello friends. Today we will be st uh, studying a computer graphics in which we will just move a circle from one position to another position in a slow motion. Again, for that we have a basic uh, graphics program in which I have detected the graph, I have initialized the graph. Now I need to move a circle. For moving a circle, I required I require a for loop. Basically, first of all, let's draw a simple circle, then we will see how to move it. For drawing a circle, we have a function that is circle. Circle will ask you for three parameters. First two parameters are the coordinates of the circle or the center of the circle. Let it be the uh, 200, 200, the coordinates. Then let me make like uh, its radius as 50. When I see the output for this, I will get like output something like this. So I got a circle here. The only thing is I need to move this. For moving a circle, like let's move the circle in horizontal way. That means I need to increment its x coordinate. Whenever I increment its x coordinate by say 50, I will see that the circle is moved. Yeah, it has been moved. If you remember the first output and you, you will see the second output, you will say something changed there. Right. But the thing is, I want to I will I want to see this circle as moving. So for this I need to shift this circle point by point, or you can say pixel by pixel, that means by plus one. Then question arises how many times I need to add plus one plus one plus one. So I uh, here here I need to do same repeated things. So for that I can use loop. Let's let us just use a for loop. For that I require a for counter variable. So let let us just start my for loop from i equal to one, and let us just move for to hundred pixels, and i plus plus. So for this I need a curly basis. I need to move this x coordinate by i time that is your by plus 100 from 1 to 100 when i when now i see this output i'll see something like this the thing is that the circle is moved but the circle is moved in such a way that it has left its last point in a consecutive way so i need to clear the last point when i draw a new point because here what happens is your first circle is drawn as 201 is 201 when I, I equal to 1 so here we have 201 then 200 that means my x coordinate is 201 and y coordinate <coughs> is 200 and I have a radius of 50 when my for loop is incremented my i, I value get 2 that it, it is 202 that means my center's position is moving in horizontal way so every time when I draw this circle, I need to clear the earliest one. So I use clear device. I hope you know that whenever I want to clear the console screen, we use CLR SCR. But when we need to clear the graphic screen, I need to use clear device. So when I see the output now, yo, my circle is moving. But I want this circle to be moved in a very slow motion. So whenever I want to uh, make any slow motion, I can use a function called as delay. Delay is a function which can which can delay my execution. Let's delay my execution by 500 milliseconds. So this 500 is in milliseconds. But whenever I use delay function, I need to import include a header file that is dos.h so i hope i can now i can see this motion slow yeah you can see that the circle is moving in a very slow motion right this 500 pixel are very slow so let's let us just make it a bit faster So whenever you, you decrease the delay you can you can just have a look on this. Thanks for watching.